Hello and welcome to Channel UTM. This is a tutorial based research channel um, showing you the research uh, in action, um, the research results, and ultimately to guide you through um, the process I use um, so you can do this research yourself. Um, there's lots of information in the other videos and uh, there are tutorials as well. So basically, if you can't get a grip of this stuff um, or you're interested in starting, then um, just follow the videos. Um, if you need any help, just give us a shout and I'll, and I'll help you uh, as best I can. So basically, this is an update on the first video that I did. Um, and that started that um research started four to five years ago now um, and uh, I just thought I'd give you an update because I've got new areas and uh, more detail so I'll try and I'll try and make it swift I won't be doing any uh, research today on it um, I just thought I'd give you um, a look around so uh, this is um, where the original came from and it would look something like not like that but like this um and in the when i first started i was um didn't really know what i was doing um so there are areas like this area and this area which are completely uh contrasted and brightnessed out of the image but i will be um working on these areas and showing you uh, okay, right. So I'm not going to give you too much information about um, Ganymede, but what I what I will say is pause and just take everything in. It's 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 essential to um, get um, in tune with the with the images because uh, a lot uh, a lot of the images we look at. I mean the 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 enhancement that I do is the re-editing of edited photographs and uh, it can be difficult to uh, get your head around it. You're just not used to looking at this sort of stuff. Um, so you have to bear with it. So you just give it time. So pause and view it um, at your own leisure and uh, hopefully things will jump out of you. But with this map, um, it's just phenomenal. Every time I look at it, it just... Um, blows me away basically it's, it's insane so here's a quick uh, comparison size if these are right um, we don't really know I mean the questions are just completely out there at the moment uh, everything seems to be uh, not as it seems um, and uh, it's good more more people are, are becoming aware of this um, so uh, let's get on with it Right, this would have been the, uh, sorry if my computer's a bit slow today, um, it's not, it's not coping very well, I've had massive images out today and uh, it's uh, been a slow coach. So th this, if you're familiar with the first video, um, this is, this is the image. Um, so just, just to remind you, this is how it actually looks um and it's got these you know the, the classic veins of um supposedly ice and things like that um but unfortunately I just can't believe that any description of any of the uh planets or moons uh, that i've covered so far because the uh the enhancements uh, just give you completely uh conflicting uh, results and uh, check them out because uh, it's it's just insane. So this would have been the the image that you'd be familiar with, and this is the uh, the latest image um, that I've been working on. So let's just get in there. Hold on a minute. This is all this is all very uh, non-professional. Um, still getting to grips with all the, the 
technology we need to use and see that my buttons aren't working. So, okay, right, it's not having it. Uh, it's that. Yes, that's doing something. Okay, so don't really know um, how to explain any of this. Apart from, um, it certainly isn't the uh, descriptions they give you of this uh, moon. Uh, yeah, it's a moon of uh, Jupiter. It's one of it's the biggest in the solar system, apparently. Um, so, what I'll do, we'll have a look around at a certain. Um, zoom percentage so you can start getting to grips with it and uh, then we'll get in there because I've managed to get a lot more uh, detail out of some of the areas it's an ongoing thing I mean this is this is 60 hours plus easy work that's been done on it and it just keeps going and like I said earlier the um, the rest of the image as well I'll be showing you new um, pictures as well, um, which conceal just as much uh, information as this this image, if if not better. you'll find that um, the closer in I get the more likely you are well I should I do suggest you do pause and just take the image in for a few minutes um, it's essential to uh, adjust to what you're looking at This white area down here, I've 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 tried to work on, but it's not it's not um, giving me any more um, information. So uh, I've sort of left that now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm trying to get this on. Ah, uh... oh, there we go. Okay, so we're a little bit closer now. And as you'll slowly notice, the um, there is uh, three dimensions to this stuff, and shadows, sides, and things like that, which is quite remarkable, really, considering that the uh, the image was uh, taken from seventy thousand kilometers or something like that. So. Um, is something we were looking at for the cameras and the um, the onboard tech of these um, orbiter sort of mission things which uh, for the time I think this went out in 79 Voyager 2 um, was pretty good Uh, so the images that we are presented with are, um, quite frankly, insulting. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of the moon videos that I've done, but I've been looking into the cameras and I've got another one coming up soon um, where we look at a little bit more in depth in, into the cameras and where they were sourced from 
and what sort of film they used and things. Um, and it was all from the uh, Cold War spy program stuff. Um, and these cameras were specifically designed to uh, take surface detail images um, and that's what they apply to a lot of the, the moon missions and stuff so what we're actually seeing is uh, like I say insulting, embarrassing really So after these couple of little sweeps that I've done, you probably start noticing some layout on things. Um, very familiar stuff, uh, connecting uh, tubes, rail lines, however you would like to describe them. But you can see, you can see the uh, infrastructure appearing. And the, uh, the the insane stuff about the videos that I've been doing and things, you know, people talk about, you know, moon anomalies and stuff. I've mentioned this before. Um, it never, ever is anything just singular sticking out. Uh, it seems to be the whole surface of everything. It includes asteroids as well. Um... It's just completely insane. This has been slightly uh, colorized as well, and you get the different tones from working with the tools, um, which is very easy. There's a few uh, subs of the channel who are doing this research now and getting well one guy in particular is getting uh, great results and he is showcasing them on YouTube um, and you'll think I'm nuts but he's been doing the sum and uh, full credit to James I will be working on it, um, I've just got so much stuff to get through and also uh, things outside YouTube as well, so. But it will blow, blow your mind, just the same as this, it, it's just unbelievable stuff. So okay, we're going to start getting in a bit closer now. This is where you're going to have to start pausing. And uh, checking stuff out. Uh, because if this is a uh, mosaic image, um, various parts of the, the photo themselves have different um, qualities, um, which is something that we've looked at as well. Um, the makeup of uh, these photographs um, in relation to the pre-editing uh, that's been done before the images are released. It all helps um, for people to understand what they're looking at um, and the, the masking they have to work around. So. I'll try and show you as much as possible without getting lost. Uh, especially the, the, the newer areas.
the further to the side of the, the moon you get the uh, there's distortion and the uh, the quality diminishes quite a lot um, so these areas do take a long time to uh, pull the information from I'm so tempted to just start working on it but we'll you know as you may or may not know the the videos I do are quite long and that's because I do show you the the research And it, that is the best way to to understand what you're looking at. Um, so check them out. These marks here are from uh, an old corrupt save which I had um, it happened on a couple of images and I'm slowly trying to take them out um, but I've been focusing on the, the the whole photograph so I haven't uh, where have we we've got a I've got a crop here of the same area before before the uh, those uh, lines came in um, but this is quite a, a major feature. Um, there's everything in here. If you're new to this channel as well, well I, I don't tend to label things uh, too much so I'll try and leave it up to you this is part of the research process so you can make your own come to your own conclusions and stuff um, it's uh, it's just one of those things I have to stay reasonably uh, neutral of course I do have my opinions and stuff um, But you know the aim. The aim of the channel is to um, arouse people's um, curiosity, basically, um, to finding out, uh, you know, what the hell this stuff is. So let's go back. That's that area in question. It is something which is very familiar on all the uh, planets are connecting, I suppose you would say, tubes of some description. Uh, if I pan out a bit, you'll see tubes and various things which, um, well, let's go have a look there that um, I can't remember what video I did, but I did show some uh, aerial views of um, train stations and things. Um, so as if you get all the, the train tracks going into a station, it's basically the, the same sort of thing. It's what, very much what it looks like. I haven't I should have uh, worked out some scaling on this but um, it's bigger than the moon anyway and as we can see the the, the surface coverage is just phenomenal um, so you can only but work out um, some sizes on this I mean this is probably tens of kilometers wide if you can get your head around that
probably going to um, sorry for the jerkiness it's just the program oh, I can't get around that at the moment without using editing tweets and stuff um, and as you can imagine the time spent just doing this stuff alone is uh, well that's where all the time goes So these black areas are areas, like I mentioned earlier, which I'll be able to work in. Um, You'll notice the um, there's a lot of white spots in areas um, which would indicate a reflective uh, surface. Um, some of which are almost uh, dome-like, but you know I can't say for sure. If they are or aren't, um, do have a reflective uh, surface on them. There's so much to see. See, it's, it's overwhelmingly um, amazing, basically. Um, there's no tricks here. This has, hasn't been artwork. Um, and it's plain and simple. I mean, if you if you want to investigate this yourself then just follow the instructions on the channel and um, it will completely change your perceptions of everything See the reflective looking elements here. Now this is part of one of those very prominent uh, features. Let's just go back here. See this area down here. Which over the years, the more the more I've looked at this, um, I think I said in the in the first video, <clears throat> this whole area looked like it may be enclosed, just due to there looks like to be a bit of distortion, like this may be enclosed. I'm not entirely sure.
And just look at this. Sorry to people who are on uh, phones and it's not, you can't, you're not seeing enough or I do reckon a big screen is, is the best way to go. Um, especially if you want to start doing this uh, yourself. I mean, I even work closer, closer than this to pull detail out. There's different levels of um, zoom percentages that you you will notice different things. So there's so much to see in these images. Um, you have to pause and uh, let your eye brain focus. Um, I was just about to show you something then. Here you go. There's an area here um, which has a very familiar, uh, it's a tower or we call them towers or spires on platform areas that stick up so that gives you a little bit of the perspective element um, so this is sticking up there's another little platform here with two on it so that gives you a bit of uh, perspective there see this how that looks like a, a shiny top dome area it takes some getting used to um, but this is a, a, a good example to uh, start with some of the other stuff I've done is quite difficult um, but it's simply you just just again, you, you need to give yourself time to adjust to the images and, uh, you know, once you see this stuff, uh, well, it's, it's just unbelievable. As you can see, it stretches right the way around the, the moon, all the way to the horizon. So I've been hearing lately, or I've been watching some documentaries or and some features on various channels with the uh, 
and it's only recently I've sort of uh, heard, you know, people mentioning uh, the colonization of our solar system. Um, and that is something that I've been thinking for a number of years now. Someone has. Uh, there's no two ways about it. And uh, I think I'm about halfway through showing you all the various places and stuff that I've got. And each each moon or planet um, has very similar features covering hundreds of thousands of square kilometers in, in some cases. Uh, and yeah, another thing, the... Uh, the photographs I show you are all un unfinished. I've just tried to get them to a stage where um, anyone um, with a bit of perseverance can understand <clears throat> what they're looking at. Um, so someone has been extremely busy in our solar system. Um, and it's as simple as that. And like I say, if you if, if you can't get your head around it, then just uh, try it for yourself. It's very simple. I think on my, on the homepage of the channel, there's a link to the uh, GIMP software, which is the imaging software I use on this. Very similar to Photoshop, um, so you can get started. The only other thing you'll need is a graphics tablet because you will struggle if you use a mouse. But to get started initially, um, a mouse will give you some results. It will, uh, it will amaze you. see the difference in the quality here There is no, there's no, uh, there would be no spacey, rational explanation for this stuff. Simply, um, that this is built. It, it, there's no two ways about it. There's no argument. There's no point trying to uh, explain this apart from... Um, this is constructed. Like I say, I, I always I, I say very little in regards to this stuff, but this is just so blatant. Um, what do you say? What do you say? Try it yourself. Look at, um, I think it's either Dione or Ceres, I'm not quite sure, in the in the videos. Um, and I recommend, uh, there's a series of photographs that, that are excellent for starting on. They're very low quality, but the results are, are brilliant. So, go and check them out. The videos are long, but... Um, There is the tutorial um, side of it, 
and the I show you the, the research as it happens so you can see how how I'm doing this um, so just go for it okay so I'm just gonna go to a few places and uh, zoom in and then I think I'll leave it at that. I have no, I'm not even timing this. Um, and like I always say, they're as long as they are long. So in the case of everything you know or you've been taught, you have to disregard when you're doing this. Um, and it's difficult. I will not deny it. It's a very difficult um, transition. Um, how you are are you normally um, used to thinking I could go mad and not show you the the research and and fade in and fade out and make it really funky and but it would mean nothing it could be anything from anywhere the only difference on this bit is that I'm not showing you the research Okay, right, I think I'm going to finish it here. Um, if it's not enough for you, um, just let me know and I can do another one uh, a bit more in depth. Uh, it's, it's just too much to show you. Oh yeah, briefly. This is, let's have a look. I was, I was talking about missing these areas. Um, and this is a quick crop I started working on. Um, but as you can see, the information is slowly starting to uh, come through. The quality isn't as good, as I said, towards the edge of these images. But you can see the, the structure starting to form. And like I said as well, uh, there's going to be much more on Ganymede. Um, and I reckon on a par with this. So, let me know what you think. Brilliant. As always, thanks very much for uh, watching. And uh, I'll see you soon. We, we are got some crazy stuff coming up so uh in the meantime take it easy and uh i'll speak to you soon okay bye